I'm over the idea that ethnic food has to be cheap in a city that's so diverse. Exactly. Next Jen Savala, better known as Juana Tamale, has been making a name for herself in the Philly food scene. However, whether it's about food, the community, or immigrant rights, Jen does not hold any punches. So I had to catch up with her and get to know more about her beginnings, what she's up to, and where she plans to take her business in the future on this edition of Next Stop. I take this every day and it's just so interesting. I was thinking about this, how many like people we see, like even when we were talking about like all the people that you see like on like, almost like a retainer, <laughs> like it's yeah, like, oh, yeah. haven't seen you in a month. These characters are always on SEPTA. Yeah. And if you don't see them in the morning or like on your commute, yeah. it's really weird to think like, where are you? It's so yeah, weird. Like, you know, I think like, I'm th I've been thinking about you. They live in my head rent free. I'm like, always really surprised um, during like sports events in Philadelphia when people live here and they don't have something with like Philly on it. Yeah. Or like Eagles. Like, it's like an identity. Like, you don't have anything? What? You live yeah. in Philly? You don't have anything? So like that's always really funny to me. How do you not catch that Philly wave? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no matter what it is. It's the like, energy. Is, yeah. So Philadelphia, they love like with their teams, right? They will like chew you up spit you yeah. out, help you back up, and like cheer you back on again. Yeah. And you know, my time here, like working in the restaurant industry and seeing, it was really hard to like break into, into like the up and coming and being seen. You know, I worked for musicians, I have a pretty good pedigree, but coming into Philadelphia, everyone was like, well, you ain't really shit. And so like working and like, working. Well, who are you? Like, right. We don't care. Right. Like, working and working and working, it wasn't like working out. And I was getting really frustrated my ego was getting really frustrated. Like mm -hmm. no one's like catching on to the, like how cool this is for the city. Like, why aren't you listening? Right. But also people want to see that person. And you could go to a falafel cart on the corner and you can get a $3 falafel. But if you go to Zahab, you're gonna pay $43 for that falafel. Why? Because you know that person, yeah. you guarantee quality. Well, the same thing happens when you go to get a taco or tamale or Thai food, you know, it's, you gotta pay what it's worth. I'm over the idea that ethnic food has to be cheap in a city that's so diverse. Exactly. So I feel like, you know, I, I will push back and I, I understand it's not always gonna get me the respect that I think I deserve from my peers in doing so. But I do know, like, when I when I am out, I know people are watching and they're inspired to also take that stand so that I'm not so unique anymore. Like, what do you really, like, see? What's next for Juana Tamale? Want to open another spot? Yeah. I have to see what that looks like for me. I mean, my heart is set on West Philly. I got married in West Philly. Yeah. I have a lot of friends out there and I have a lot of support. And then I have my tamale truck. I would drive my truck all over, like, West Philly and get to meet so many people. And yeah. I'm, like, seeing, like, it's a food desert out there. You know, being out there would allow people to have some more options out there for food. I open a place out there or later. I know that as a cook, I'm not ever going to be as good as I'm going to be in like 15 years. The women that I looked up to were older women on the corner, yeah. you know, Abuelita. selling tamales yeah. for, you know, to take care of their family or their grandkids. Yeah. Those tamales were fucking banging. That's what I'm looking forward to being. I'm looking forward to that moment. And all the other things I go through will be nerve wracking and challenging, but I know it'll be me graduating to that moment where I have a shopping cart and a cooler <laughs> standing on the corner. Uh, still embarrassing my kids. <laughs> and, uh, I love that. Selling hopefully the best yeah. tamales anyone ever has, but yeah, well, I think we're here, so we're here? time to go to the Let's time to go, go to the Flyers game. Oh my God! Yeah. What is this? It's like a whole experience. It's like literally like ice, and you can play like I guess a like foosball, but like hockey, like. What, what would you call it? Food hockey? Crazy. 